thing. Do it when we get it all done. <laughs> nope, nope. We're working on hooking up the hummingbird. We got a ram mount for it. It's going to be between us. This is our command center. <laughs> there it is. Pretty sick, huh? Like upgrades, man. There it is. Great idea. Yeah. Hope this video doesn't get tagged because of background music, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I guess we gotta do some wire work now. Yep. So we can get out on the water. Yeah, don't be saying that. We got the whole world thinking we're going on the water today. This is Big T Davis above Bass Anguish. Just had to repair a file on the cards. So I'm gonna start again. We're in the Charles River system and obviously there's a bunch of boaters today of all days so but anyway uh we're doing some pre-spawn fishing and uh i'm configuring our new hummingbird helix 7 with uh, mega side imaging and mega down imaging i'm just going through the different views right now and setting up uh my views and my contrast and my sensitivity so this is your standard sonar right here and look there's two marks right there beautiful you get a much better return because this is using chirp so more frequencies so you get much better return on your, uh, your fish arcs on this than we do with our old scanner so now I'm going to switch to uh, this is mega down imaging and I'm gonna go through and you know get the sensitivity where I want it as you can see when I adjust the sensitivity to make it lower I can see the grass even better you know but there's other things I can go down here and adjust the contrast a little bit you know Change the, I let the range automatic. Chart speed is fine. And my colors are fine for this view. So, but you can see if I go to the extreme on contrast, you can see the difference. The more contrast, the more detail you get. I want more detail. And sensitivity also adjusts your detail. If you go to super high sensitivity, it picks up everything. You don't want to pick up everything. So I'm looking for that sweet spot. And there it is. So I'll go with that for now. And this is my side view, which I've already adjusted. As you can see, there's not much here. Um, you can see the rocks along the shore. And you can kind of see them here in the side scan. So. While Bub's fishing, I'm just looking for things that are different, and I'm marking them. And then on our way back, we can fish them. <laughs> looking for anything that's different, uh, a big rock, a brush pile, or whatever. And uh, this is going to help me see that. I got it going 100 feet out to the right and left. <laughs> and that's how that works. Just got hit. Bub says he just got hit. Looks like he's on a fish. Get it back out there. Bub's fishing a jig <laughs> with a twin tail grub. And, oh, see, now I got something different out here. I don't know what that is. Could be some, some submerged rocks out there. I don't know what that is. So, I'm going to mark it. So we can come back and fish that. Boom. Waste point created. So Bub got hit by something. something. Could have been a bluegill. Was it a good hit, Bub? He said it was a good solid hit. Could be a big bluegill. So now we're turning the boat so the side imaging is kind of just changing around a little bit. And that's that. You're right, probably a good There's a big rock right there. This is beautiful.
beautiful. Game changer, people. First fish on of the day, folks. We were, just, <laughs> we were just we were just talking about pike, and he pulls up a decent sized pickerel. You want my uh, pliers? I already got them out. Uh, yeah. I guess. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> fish was caught. It's going out of the boat. And the fish is gone. And he released himself. Yeah, nice. that's great. Okay. Well. Yeah.